I'm going to talk to you about cardiovascular conditions like heart disease, heart attacks, varicose veins, and anything related to that. Probably the most important system in your body is your circulatory system. The most important nutrient your cells need is oxygen. Uh, the thing that deprives them the, the most of, of oxygen is carbon dioxide or impaired blood flow. So where blood flows healing begins, and one of the primary reasons is one, your red blood cells become every organ in your body, so we need to get blood to create new tissue. And secondly, the blood brings the oxygen with you. Now, the most important nutrient you need in your body, bar none, is oxygen. So if a, a diet or a lifestyle has not started with oxygen, then they haven't started in the right place. Uh, what's more important than that is also understanding the fact that 50% of people will now die from some sort of cardiovascular. You are most likely to die from this. Or, or if you don't, statistically, because there's 50%, your best friend will or someone you know did this is i hate to be negative and forgive me for sounding so morbid but it's certainly a nasty way for people to for people to go um what you need to know is a couple of things your heart is a pump and it pumps around the body it pumps through your veins now think think of the there's a few ways, but just for simplicity's sake, think of three types of veins. There's veins, which which is like the pipes the blood goes through. There's arteries, which are like big veins that go to your heart. And there's little ones called blood vessels. Now, the little blood vessels is why people get varicose veins, because the little red blood cells have to fit down single file, single file. And if people get varicose, varicose or varicoines, um, it's because the veins are popping open and they're not close and they should be expanding and contracting. And part of the reason is your blood is too thick. You're eating too much animal products. Um, you're not looking after your health. You're not moving. You've got poisons there, which the body has to pump around. And uh, they often occur in the lower body because it's much harder for the body uh, to pump these things through. Um, the other thing that you need to know is uh, after a while, they'll begin to enlarge. Now, many people come in who, who are specialists in veins, and, and then the first thing they do is they cut the veins out. But unfortunately, when they cut the veins out, now we're just putting strain on the other veins because now it's like having pipes and just removing pipes. And now I've got thick water uh, coming, through every, coming through everywhere else and straining the good pipes. So there's a few herbs which I'll tell you to take. One, go out and get some horse chestnut. This is very good for varicose veins. Second, start living on hawthorn. Hawthorn is a cardiac food that builds your heart. If you've got varicose veins, you must begin to protect your heart, period, no exception. Thirdly, when you cook, start building up with some cayenne pepper. You can even put it in water. Cayenne pepper is very hot and it will encourage the veins to open and close. The other thing is get in a bath. Get some ginger, garlic, cayenne pepper, only a little bit, less than a quarter of a teaspoon in a big bath, otherwise you're going to burn your genitals and things, and if you do, get an aloe vera plant fresh in the home, that will begin to make a difference for this. Now, obviously this is going to be an advantage to, str to stripping it. Now the other thing you can do is get some of the herbal cream that we sell and rub it on there and start getting some circulation externally. Uh, going to the skin. Unfortunately, once a vein is varicose, it's bulging in the wall, gets very thin. I have seen some people, it's, you know, it's horrific when people start bleeding through the skin and they bleed through the skin again because of a structural uh, weakness. Uh, we'll go into this at another time.